Queen Lucia's Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre has challenged fellow world leaders to act decisively and save humanity. Honorable Pierre made the remark on Tuesday to November 2021 as he addressed the 26th Conference of the Parties, COP26, to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. The Global Climate Conference taking place in Glasgow is the first since the five-year review of the historic Paris Accord in 2015. Prime Minister Pierre told the world that this decade is the last chance to get on track. Undeniably, certain changes such as sea level rise and ocean acidification are already locked in with dire consequences for SIDS and low-lying states. But we know that 1.5 degrees Celsius is still within our reach. To achieve it, we must act and act now. Countries must urgently bring forward the NDCs with 2030 targets consistent with 1.5 degree temperature goal, supported by credible net zero by 2050 long-term strategies. We must support wind, solar, and other renewable energy investments. The power to turn things around lies in our collective hands. We must be focused and resolute. We cannot waive on matters of human survival. Honorable Pierre called on world leaders to deliver the long-term climate finance goal that was promised in Paris for mitigation and adaptation. Some $100 billion was pledged, yet to be collected. St. Lucia's Prime Minister also made a firm case for the inclusion of all nations in combating climate change. We must also raise the profile of and mainstream loss and damage as a distinct pillar of climate action and support. It is high time that we complete the Paris rule book. When we bring to fruition that vital work, we can strengthen accountability and enable the highest possible ambition while ensuring transparency and environmental integrity. Colleagues, friends, we in the developing world are on the front lines, exposed our poor, vulnerable citizens have limited ability to respond to climate change effects, and so the quality of life is significantly diminished. As responsible leaders, can we in good conscience sacrifice humanity for industry? Will we continue to ignore the science, to gamble with the future of our youth, women, private sector and NGOs? What are the prospects for countries like Taiwan yet to be recognized but also confronting climate change while supporting SIDS. The young people who will inherit this planet are watching. We cannot fail them. Let us not be that generation of leaders who had the last chance to set the world on track, but choose not to put people first. Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre, as he addressed the 26th Conference of the Parties, COP26, to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change Tuesday. COP26 concludes November 12, 2021.